So we are back here with our all meshes. So now I show you what I do with them to uh, yeah bring them back or, or make them better. So we just need to yeah make for all of them LOD focal lesion at least at one. So make this for all. I uh, cut here again and. So now I have uh, done it for all small parts, so click here right and close other tabs. Everything else will be closed. Let's do that for the lease. Here. And for the bottom, of course. And for the top. So what we want to do here too is to check the collision, so click collision and you see it's pretty bad collision so click this one and just oops, delete it. Now we make our new collision, go to auto convex collision and here you can play with the accuracy and with uh, the whole words so I leave it as it is or maybe go for 20 and yeah this takes also a bit of time so cut. So now we have a better collision model so can check this here also, but that's that's fine. And here the collision is not so important, but, but if you want you can change this to I'll leave it as it is. <coughs> so let's uh, search our, our material. I forgot the name. Let's see. Let's leave instead. So we have this. And we need here for the top the same. So get this. We can leave it here as it is because we want no sway on the bottom part, the under under part. And yeah, same for tree. Which can be at this one. Now you can see also here our, our wood cut. And now we, yeah, have to make our destructible meshes. So press right on this one and go for destructible mesh. Open this one up, and there it is. It's compiling at the moment, so no worries. Go to fracture mesh. And yeah, you could just play around with this very. Uh, you can, yeah actually see how it will explode and here you can play with some values but I leave it as it is. Save this one and make this for real middle part. So go to this one here and fracturate this one too. Yeah. Save it. Now let's see why here our it has no lease assigned. Oh, here I forgot to make leaf and st and here's everything fine. Okay, now we go to our actor and I show you how I uh, port one of the destructor mesh because a bit it's a bit buggy. And yeah, let's see how this uh, if this works. So I go here for destructible. And here I run sometimes into pop problems, so I want this one and it doesn't show here. So we just delete this one, compile, and just open a destructible mesh. So here you don't need to do anything, just open it up. Go back into your actor, and now if you write destructible, it will here uh, write out which one is currently open, and we select this. And now we have our assigned. The next problem here is now this one has no fracture effects. So we just deselect this or delete this and reselect this. So now here are two elements. I don't know why this bug happens, but it happened all the time. So this is a uh, yeah, way to get uh, behind this. So I cut here and do this for all rings, for the whole ring. So now we make two. We need to make them all invisible, so shift and click from the first to the last, so you can also see how many you have. I have 20 now, uh, and we may want to uncheck visibility. Yeah, oh, I forgot one. This is this one. So I get this tree middle. So just take the middle and. 
visibility. Okay. Now we need uh, to separate static mesh parts. So type in static mesh, be tree bot. So search for tree, tree cut it bot. Static mesh. Search for tree top. Cut it top. And call this tree top. And add another one. Static mesh. And pull it there in. And call for this one, take all leaves. Tree cut the leaves. And Make sure that you here on check also tree tree no 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 you search for bark on the instance yeah and D three yeah let's make D three invisible so we have only the top here now it comes to the programming part and yeah you can delete this one. First of all, so we want uh, these two meshes to disappear, so we select them. If we hit one of them, or if we hit this one, so we call this tree. So give a component hit. It's another actor then the it's the first person project huh? so you can there make it maybe an X or uh, yeah what you want so I stuck with the projectile and you make set visibility false also for this one this so it should disappear yeah that's fine because now we make need to make everything else visible so start with d3 set visibility three to visibility and also for 20 parts here so this will take much more time and i will cut here so i'm finished and next up we want to protect our tree top from getting hit from the projectile so go here to collision presets and make no collision or block all line or you go to block all dynamics open the presets go then to custom you see everything here and we want the projectile to ignore it. if you have a yeah a x or something and you want that the top part ignores the x so you just need to uh, go for or static or ignore everything would work too so so now again the tricky part we have to add on hits even for all our 20 things here so select all and component hit so this takes also a bit more time and maybe I pull this up and see what we Got. So if the actor is the first, well just let let's make a new function for this so it's easier for us. So first per oops, first person projector. So we just pull this into this so we can. Oops, this won't work. So we just here the wildcard we go to actor reference so now it should work yeah fine so and if this is true we want to yeah let the tree simulate his physics to fall down and for this I make a new function uh, yeah which or which determines when the uh, tree can fall so can tree fall so here we need our tree top uh, Set simulate physics, and this will be branch. So now we need some new variables. Oops, what's this variable called? This one max life. So 
I know I have 20 parts and I want this to be 10, so if I destroy 10, I want to, yeah, to let the tree fall down. So we check Max life and we get our current. I don't know what's here, why this always happened. Lows these, no, it works. So Max life and count, just count. So this is one zero. greater or equal this one then it will go true and simulate physics if it falls we just count increment so increment means uh, we make this one more we take the old part and add one to this so that's our simulated now we get go into this one we can just call it something like Check, check, or I don't know, just call it like you want. Get the tree fall and cast this. Oops. Oh no, we don't need this to be connected, so just. But before we make this, we need to uh, apply damage, so apply radial damage. So here we need to look for, I take five is enough, or two, at two is enough. Point one, we will look later if this is enough. And our object needs a hit, so just make a new one and call this hit result. And call this hit so we can get the origin, break this one, and get the impact point as origin. Yeah, that's it. So now we go to our event graph and just pull in the object check, get the other actor and get the hitters. So and we just make our project a bit smaller so we can actually hit the small parts. So go into the project tile and just type 0 0.5 and take the collision and press 10. Shout. Okay, before we go on, I made a small mistake. We here need to not set visibility, but we need to destroy component. So where it is, just pull this destroy component. And we want to destroy the old one. So now we can continue. So now do this for all of them and yeah. Okay, I'm finished. Uh, before we can test, just go into object into country fall and set simulate physics. I forgot this. So let's check if it works. So go into play mode and now we hit here 10 parts apart and then it should be fallen. Yeah, it starts falling. So if you want to make it a bit faster you can also higher the radius of uh, the damage, so to 4. So if you play now, you can play with this value, so but if you play now, uh, it should start immediately if you hit 10, so because it will get damage, yeah, it's a bit faster and better, I think. So now we have a pretty hacked part, and if you uh, like, oh, I see the color has a bug, so Let's fix Go into your tree cut or into full tree and copy this one into tree cut. Go into tree cut, open this up and want no color variation and we search for this one and we copy this into here. So also make this F2. And we make this leaf instant too. So go into leaf two. This one a fixed value of zero or zero point uh, zero one. I make it just zero. Go into leaf instant. Pick here leaf two, and we should be fine. So now we have no color variation, uh, and 
yeah, we just stay with this. I don't know how to fix this. If I someone f some sometime find a fix for this, yeah, I will post it or make a video for this again. So here we just need to make sure we have leave instant two. And now if we test, it should be fine. So get those parts. The projectile is a bit too big. Now if it's false, the color stays. So yeah, that's all. It's a bit longer than I expected. Sorry for this. But yeah, that's all. If you have any questions, leave a comment. And yeah, if you have any tips how to make some parts better, just post them and I will make a new video for it. Thanks for watching. Bye.